Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Dev, and today I'll be showing you guys how to award points and wins to your players in your mini game place. Before we get started, if this video does help you out, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps out. First off, we're going to need to create our leader stat system, which will basically hold a player's coins and wins value. So let's go over to server script service, click the plus button right here, and add in a script. You should rename this script to leader stats just to stay organized. Whenever a player joins the game, we want to create a folder called leader stats inside their player instance. So we need something that fires every single time a new player joins the game. We can do this by doing game.players, which is this right here, dot player added, colon connect function, and then PLR right here. So this will run every single time a player joins, and PLR will refer to their player instance. Now let's create the folder leader stats. So local leader stats, and then we're just going to make it with instance.new, and we're going to make the folder class name. We're going to set its name to leader stats, so Roblox recognizes it as a leaderboard to show in the top right UI. And we're going to set its parent, which is what it's inside of, to the player instance. Now we need to create two values, wins and points. First off, let's create our points. We're just going to say local points. And then we're going to use instance.new once again, however this time create a number value. We're then going to set the name equal to points and the value equal to zero. Then we want to parent this value to leader stats, so it's inside the folder. We can then just copy line 6 through 9 by selecting the code, doing command C if you're on Mac or control C if you're on Windows, and then hit return twice or enter to create a new line and then just pasting it by doing command V for Mac and control V for Windows. We're just going to rename points to wins for our variable name and make it so the name isn't points, instead it's going to be wins. So if we exit our leader stats script, you'll see if we hit play that we have points and wins. That's great and all, but right now it isn't actually hooked up to award wins and points when someone wins. So. Let's stop the game, and let's go over to our main script right here. We're going to have to award points and wins whenever someone wins an obby minigame and when they win a sword fight minigame. Let's start out with the obby minigame. You're going to want to find the code that's right here. For me, it's around line 35, but this could be different depending on any modifications you have made. First off, we want to make it so someone can't set the text multiple times, because right now, what this code is doing is it's checking if there's a humanoid and then it's setting can win to false and the status to whoever has won. We also want to make sure that they can actually still win so we just want to make sure can win is equal to true. Now we can award the points. First off we have to find the player that actually won because right here is their character instance inside a workspace and we need to find the instance inside of this player section right here. So let's just do local plr equals game.players and then we can just use our character to get the actual player instance by doing get player from character and then hit dot parent. Now we're going to set plr.leaderstats.wins.value equal to the current value plus one. We're then going to do the same with points, setting it to itself. However, this time I'm going to give the player 50 points. All right. We can actually copy this code right here because it's going to be pretty similar for the sword minigame. So you want to copy that and then you want to find this code right here which determines the winner of a sword fight minigame. This could once again vary a little bit but for me it's line 61. Let's drop a few lines and paste in our code and we're just going to have to make a few modifications. So what we're going to do just to kind of shorten the code because this is a large section of code is just create a new variable right above called care and just have it as this. Then we can just make it so status.value is equal to character.name and then has one and we can just pass in the character variable right there. So now if we exit out of that script and we hit play, you'll see we go down the intermission. says we're going to be playing sword fight 
we get teleported, and it says I have won and I've gained 50 points and one win. Let's really quickly now check the obby minigame. So I just have to jump over this jump right here, and once I complete it, I once again get a win and I get another 50 points. You guys can also, of course, modify how many points or wins you get per minigame by just changing the numbers. So for instance, if you wanted to get 75 points for the sword minigame, you would change that last code segment we did where it says 50 to 75. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. Keep on programming, guys. See ya. Make my